Hey everyone, welcome to the video. I'm North Central and we are camping. And this is my review of Site 15 at West Virginia State Park, Cedar Creek. So this is a 30 amp site. This being 30 amp, all right, come down to my adapter to my 50 amp. And then uh, I have a extension cord plugged into 20 amp. So a 30 amp site. And of course it comes with water and I have all my water connections on quick connects. I did not have to level this. It is just slightly off level. That way, off level that way. I could have put it up on the sliders but decided not to. Everything seems to be working out fine with it the way that it is. Nice big open area. Nice fire pit, nice. It does have gravel. A lot of these sites have concrete or pavement, but this one has gravel going to the fire pit, which is still fun. It has a lot of trees. So at least three quarters of this site is usually in the shade. And in the evening, it's all in the shade, which makes it really nice as well. Plenty of room to do whatever you want. Put up your little shade mosquito barrier over the picnic table, throw a tent up, it's pretty flat. There's the camper as she sits. Again, I didn't have to uh, do any leveling, or I didn't do any leveling. I could have, but I didn't. Slightly off level to the back side. All right, so let's talk about the pros and cons of Site 15. So let's do the pros first. As with all of the sites here at Cedar Creek, it has its own trash can that's uh, taken care of by the campground. Number two, I didn't have to level this. It was just slightly off level and it, everything is fine. Move it one way or the other over, over this way or over this way and it would probably be perfect level. I just didn't take the time to do it. Pro number three, at least half to three quarters of this campsite is in the shade. It's got trees up over it and it makes it really, really nice. Most of the ground here is also level for tents or canopies or whatever you want to do out here. It has electric and it has water. All great pros in my book. Now let's talk about the cons. 30 amp. doesn't have 50 amp. 30 amp is fine. You find that a lot at the West Virginia State uh, parks and stuff is 30 amp. So... You kind of have to deal with that. Gravel instead of concrete. But again, it's one of the things that you kind of expect and, and you deal with. The trees are very far apart. You can't uh, put a hammock up, which kind of sucks because I got a couple of hammocks that I like to laze around it. So another thing uh, is the bathhouse. Campers right here, here's the campsite. That's the bathhouse. It's probably 50 yards away, maybe. So pro, con, you know, kind of depends on how you want to camp, but really close to the bathhouse. Uh, there is no cell signal here for, I have uh, T-Mobile and I'll have somebody here that has AT&T. Here in the campground, there is no cell service available. To get cell service, you have to go all the way down to the registration store. Uh, they have a booster down by the fishing ponds and that's where you're going to get into your cell service they also have a uh, free wi-fi down there as well but here in the campgrounds no cell service no wi-fi i do think that there's a couple campers that do have um, hot spots i don't know what carrier they are but there's a couple that do have hot spots i saw one that had a uh, a dish uh, antenna on his uh, that, that was out in front of his uh, camper. I don't know if he's using it, but I'm assuming he is since he had it out. All right, guys. So that is site 15 at West Virginia 
State Park Cedar Creek. Um, as you can see, big nice camp. It's got its pros, it's got its cons, just like every camp and every campground. Um, there's better ones here, there's worse ones here. Uh, this one's actually uh, pretty nice. And yeah, I am getting back to camping. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.